Welcome to RaiGurkul.com. In this video, we'll discuss about complete overview of test rigor tool, which is an amazing tool used for automation testing. So in this video, we'll discuss what is test rigor, why test rigor is required, comparison with other tools, complete overview of the tool, and at the end, we'll see here small example. So let's begin with what is test trigger. Test trigger is an autonomous, low maintenance, ultra stable, functional UI regression and exploratory testing solutions that reduces grunt work and accelerates delivery, reduce QA overhead, low, lead a more efficient QA team and scan painlessly. So one of the expert who said you will be paid in the future based on how well you automate your work by Jacob Morgan, one of the experts in automation domain. So when we are doing an automation testing, we need to have a proper environment, proper tool which will fix our need. Here we can automate our routine task which we are doing on regular basis we are not a robot we can work on 24 by 7 but we can assign our work to any tool which is secure enough which will help us to provide complete solution for our testing needs let's say if we are doing a testing for any HRM application which is having several number of steps. We are performing this regression again and again. For executing in the manual time, let's say if we are taking one month of time for single resource, then test trigger will help us to complete this execution within an hour. So how we can expect how much compatible this tool. So test trigger is a behavior driven autonomous and English based testing tool. I never seen any of the tools who is automating our stuff like simple plain English. This tool help us to automate our stuff single or plain English based testing tool. Test trigger create ultra stable test in plain English, emulating the way any user use our applications. Build test 15x faster with test trigger Chrome extension. Spend 0.5% of the time on test maintenance. When we talk about test trigger, the fastest way to scale our test coverage, it will include regression, exploratory testing, and functionality testing. When we use test trigger, we'll have desktop version and mobile version also. When we want to test for the desktop based application, web based application, we can use it. This is focus on QA instead of test maintenance. Test trigger does the heavy lifting, just focus on the right words to express what needs to be tested instead of getting bored down with coding, nuance, and test maintenance. Bell test which run in all desktops and mobile browsers and native mobile applications. Test trigger is executable specifications engine that help companies to scale QA. Then adapt to new functionality with ease and test trigger is the only platform that extract unique issues from all the tests that allows you to adapt to the new changes with a few clicks of a button and a few plain English word. When we talk about the customer reviews, there are several customers who use this tool and found it out very useful. So one of the major customer IDT has scaled the test coverage from 50% to 91% within under nine months. So let's understand why test trigger is required. Easy to use without any code. So you don't need to write a code actually, you have to just modify the test cases. 
whatever we have recorded. It's a very simple enough tool to automate test creations, execution, and maintenance based on how users use our application in productions. All tests are portless and easily customizable using plain English. Second is fast. Full rate test in less time create robust customized tests in minutes versus stays. So if you have n number of test cases to be automated, it will take few hours of your time. Third is ultra stable. Tests are super stable and would require almost no maintenance from your team test to not break due to flaky infrastructure or doom changes. Fourth is adoptable. Ability to easily adapt to application changes test will even survive UI framework changes. No more expensive QA engineering required because of the test rigor. There are several other components when it comes to the cost, time. These are also going to be reduced when we are using test rigor inside our automation need. So when we talk about the comparison with other tools, let's compare with Selenium or Appium. So in Selenium, most of our resources are tied up with test maintenance instead of contributing to new coverage. When we talk about the Selenium, it will require coding knowledge. Either we can code in Java, Python, or several other language, but a test rigor will help us to improve 99.5% less test maintenance. Reallocate QA engineers to build API tests. When we talk about the Selenium, expensive QA engineering is required because QA or the member needs to know about the coding when they are working with Selenium. 30% test coverage on an average because of the maintenance burden. It takes weeks to retest functionality or manual QA connect contribute to automations. In the end, the test code still does not guarantee that we are delivering 100% scalability. 90% of the more test coverage in under a year will be covered by using test rigor, full retest in under 15 minutes, but it's totally up to their requirement or your requirement. Our manual QA people can create and maintain automated tests. Tests reflect the way our users use your applications. Now let's jump to the example or the complete overview of the test rigor tool. You can see here, this is the website name where you have to log in. So first you need to take license version or the versions for your automation need and then you have to install this plugin or this extension test trigger test is recorder you have to install it from the google play store once you will install it and enable this uh, extensions or uh, you will able to see this icon should be enabled here post that you have to do the login with your login credentials so i am using here my own credential and do the login Uh, hit enter. I don't want to save. At the time of creation of test suit, you, you will jump directly to here. You have to enter your test suit name. Let's say I am entering this open HRM app and you will find it out three options are available. Desktop web testing, mobile web testing, native and hybrid mobile testing. Then you have to provide a URL. So let's say I am providing this. Then username and password for the URL. If you have any login, Credentials for this URL, you have to enter the username and password. So let me show you this URL. This is an open source demo orange life tool where you will find it out the login page. Now you can see this, you have to enter admin. So basically it will need to enter this credential inside our test code so that we don't need to write login page code or login page automation again and again. It will be auto configured. Now, entering the detail, you have to select the operating system. 
OS Windows or OS X, then the browser in which browser you are using. And finally, generate tests automatically based on auto discovery. You can select any number of components. Post entering all these details, click on test suits. Now I have already created this test suit because of that I'm not going forward to create it. I've already created test cases as well. So once you'll select your test suit, you will jump to this page where you'll find out all the test suits ran here in past. All these test cases are listed here. If you want to modify any of the test case, simply click on this arrow tab, click on edit test case, and you will find it out. Simple plain text, English language coding standard is available here. Change whatever required to be changed here and click on update and retest. This complete test case will be executed with result in screenshots. So a screenshot will also will be attached here in this section. Now we have error sections inside the error sections, whatever error will be populated. You can find it out here when you want to see the reports, how many test suits are ran. So till now I have ran six test cases, discovered test cases one, succeeded test cases five. So you can see the complete execution report, which is needed for the sharing with the top management or business team. Preview is also there. You can find it of the complete preview here. All runs, how many runs you have executed. You can find it out here. If you have defined any reusable rules, you can share with here. We'll see these components later in the time. Uh, let's understand the all these components which is available, how we can use it. Then if you have any test data, you can add your test data here or you can use it for the time. So default value for the discovery is also there where you can define all these default value for the discovery for your automation need. CI CD integration is also there. You can use it for our CI CD integration pipeline. In the setting tabs, you can define authentication, proxy, speed optimization. These all components are also there in setting tabs. So let's jump to the test cases where you'll find it out. The filter options are also there. Let's say if you want to list out one of the failed test cases, you simply click on this and your failed test cases are listed here. If you want to see the all status, you can select all this. If you want to see all the test cases generated within the duration, you can select start and end duration and filter will be applied for you. If you want to search any of the um, components, you can find and replace from here. Now, when you will jump to the test cases, we have seen edit test cases. A part of that, if you want to retest, simply click on retest and your test case execution will start whichever you have created in the past. Now you can see first screenshot is generated here. You'll find the complete screenshot image in a very attractive and which is very much clear. So let's close this and wait for the executions till the time it will run the test case. You will find it out the time here where it is showing estimated time left and Whenever it proceed, it will generate the image of all the screenshots or whatever action it performed. Now you can see all these images are generated automatically. It's now get logged in and post that you'll find it out the complete execution detail. Let's you can see it still status is showing retesting. Once it is done, it will say OK or completed. Still testing. If you want to cancel any of the test case, you can simply click on uh, cancel retest. It will be canceled automatically. Now we are still running this test case. You can find it out. The test case is completed, which is showing status to be updated. It's not updated it. Yeah. Now you can see status is okay. It means your test case is passed with green color. If your test case will fail, it will highlight with red color. And here you'll find the three tabs again enabled. If you want to delete this test case, simply click on delete and your test case will be deleted for your from your test case repository. Now coming down to the adding custom test case, click on this 
If you want to add any custom test case, click on descriptions, add all these custom steps and click on add and run. That test case will be added inside your test suit. Now we have resources panel where you will find it out all the documentations which is needed for automation requirement. If you want to perform click actions, there are different options are there with simple line of plain English language. Like if you want to click on cart, you have to enter click and in between the code, you have to define cart informations. Generating enter all these keywords, which is required for automating your stuff. You will find it out all these keywords in detail. In further part of the video, we'll see or the, in the next video, we'll see all of the content one by one for automating our required component. This complete description document is available here, which will help you to perform your automation. Now let's create one automation flow by using test trigger. It's very simple enough. Either you can add custom test case here. Otherwise directly go to the website for recording. We have to click on test trigger icon from here and click on start new recording so as of now we are going to add one leave here so i am giving here as add leave four and click on start new recording so whatever action will perform it manually scene will be recorded inside test tracker execution report and post that we are done once we'll click on stop recording all these execution will start executing so let's begin with this so as you can see here admin is the name username and admin 123 is the password of this website so click on login now we'll get two options here just ignore it and from here i'm just doing over action on leave so you can see here there are several options are available so I am just clicking on assign leave. So here we have to enter the employee name. So I am giving here orange test. Test and then leave type I am giving here as a personal leave. So you can see leave balance is not available here. I want to just enter one day leave for this. So start and end date should be same and full day leave I'm applying. So in comment section, I'm adding any. When I will click on OK, it will throw in a pop up message. There's a no sufficient leave balance is available for that person. So I will click on OK and it will give fail to assign so it will overlapping leave request found we have already requested for this person so here we will just verify fail to apply message or we will have to verify this actions now we are done with the steps let's stop the recording and you will find it out all these steps we have which we have performed is recorded here here we have added three steps here so i don't want to be here because we have already defined in test suit so i'm going to just enter a login here and be before click assign leave we need to have our action on leave section so you can see here leave so as it is we have to write the same thing into double quotes now enter orange test into employee name so i am giving here as a employee name i don't want this one so i will i will remove this 
then I don't want this as well. Select leaf type. I am giving here cancel personal leaf. C A N person from type. So pose that. At the time of entering the date, we can enter while clicking from the calendar or we can add enter detail like, like we can see here the date format. So 2021 that is EO then 08 and then 16 into from date and we'll remove this section. Now we can find it out the same thing in the uh, to date as well. So let's keep this same format here as well. Enter 16 same into to date. So we'll change here to date. Now we are done for the entering the date as well and we'll remove it these two lines you can see a very simple enough we are entering any comment click on assign click on ok and we'll check check page contains contains leave balance view details now click on add and run and this test case will be added inside our test trigger repository where you will find it out it started executing it will take few minutes of for execution and whenever it will start running this will generate a screenshot Now you can see all the screenshots started uh, generating. You'll find it out. It's login is done. Hover leave option is done. Then assign leave section. It moved to. It will enter the detail. Based on that, it will provide the OK status for test case execution. So when you want to see the uh, every screenshot, you will just directly jump to the uh, double click on that image, and your screenshot will be available. Here you'll find it out. It will verify the detail and post that it will provide the status of test case. It will take few more seconds. Now you can see fail to assign because the cancel personal leave is not always available. If we have applied, then only we'll find it out the detail. But at the end, if we want to verify any uh, text message, we can include it if we have any validation is required. Now you can see could not perform click button. So this is an error message is generated. We can remove it. There is a no click OK button is assigned. Uh, click OK because there is no options is available. So could not perform click button not found into click. You can see there is a no pop up generated for this user. So because of that, it's showing an error message. So here we have updated the test and when we will run the retest, it will start again executing uh, the test cases. So this time it will generate again a set of images where we can refer it for further usage. So this is how it is working when we are writing test cases, updating test cases in test trigger, which is very simple enough. We can write our automation in plain English language. We don't need to write any specific code for writing a test case or for test suit for automation, which is very helpful when we are using test trigger. So that's all about complete introduction about test trigger. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed this session, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching.